Mr. Bank, 48 years later, you are back here to see Manthan and Manthan is released everywhere. Tell us about the feeling you have on today. Well, it's incredible really, because you know, I mean, the, the films will be selected in a way, thanks to you, because you know, we, if it wasn't for you, I don't believe we would have been able to get the print the way it is today. And you know, and um, Shivendi Singh has been uh, really I instrumental and m the central figure in all this, because otherwise we had Manthan and bits and pieces is put it all together. <laughs> you know, it's it's amazing because it, it, it is, the journey of this film is quite extraordinary. Because when we made the film, and at that time, of course, Dr. Kurian wa wanted this film to be made, this is way back in um, mid-1970s, I thought he wanted to me to make a documentary. I'd already made two or three documentaries about Amul. So he, he said, no, 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 I want a feature film. I said, then who's going to see this feature film? So he said, why are you worried about that? Don't worry about who's going to see the film. He said, just go and make it. Just tell me how much money you need. I said, but uh, where will you get the money from? He said, from the farmers, you know? And it was as simple as that. Because he just sent word to, you see, because in the not just Anand, but the entire area where uh, milk used to be collected from by Amul, what they had done was sent a message down to uh, the farmers saying, look, would you like a film to be made about your work? They all said, yes, yes, we do. So he said, but there's a small expense in involved. They said, how much? He said, two rupees each. <laughs> That was it. So that there's two rupees each with all those farmers. We made this film. And you know, then it was for which not only was the film made, but the fact is that it covered its cost, it made profits until I met Dr. Kurian once. I said, she, she said, you think in terms of a sequel. I said, how can one think of in terms of a sequel of a film like this? You know, it's not possible. So he said, well, you know, it's up to you. I mean, you want to make it, make it, otherwise, forget it. <laughs> so anyway, the important thing, of course, was that, you know, it was it was something that Dr. Korean was very, very fond of. And uh, I remember one time when uh, we were traveling and the film was being shown in two or three places in different parts of the world. There was, a, there was an opening in Paris of the film there was an opening in London for the film. Then there was an opening in Moscow for the film. And then eventually, of course, the film was also shown in Beijing. So, you know, it, 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 it's it been shown just about everywhere in the world. It's quite extraordinary. And nobody believed, you know, when we when we first made this film. Uh, least of all, Nasiruddin Shah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, I want to turn to you. Uh, you were in Cannes for the screening. You got a standing ovation for seven minutes. Tell us, uh, how do you feel, Banthan, after 48 years and uh, your experience on this film? It was your second film with uh, Mr. Benegal. My second film in all. And uh, yeah, perhaps I, I didn't believe, but I prayed like hell, I have to say, that this, that this film would be seen and that my work would get across to the audiences. Seeing it in Cannes, on the big screen after decades was a very, uh, very emotional experience as you would expect. And uh, it was a majorly uh, white audience, French audience, uh, not so many Indian people. And they all thought it was quite wonderful. They, they said that the poetry of it came across despite they couldn't understand the language. Everybody loved the song as they always do. And uh, Preeti Sagar who sang that beautiful song and uh, who I have waited 50 years to congratulate for that. <laughs> and um, so all of us surviving members <laughs> of uh, the ship Manthan welcome you all to this uh, screening, which would be a good thing to dedicate to Dr. Varghese Kurian, the force behind, not only behind this film, but behind Amul, 
behind the cooperative movement in India and behind Operation Flood and the success of it, he and his and his dedicated team. And uh, also, of course, to remember those who are now in the in the big film studio in the sky, many dear friends uh, who are not here, not with us anymore. In 1976, when the film was made, Shivinder Singh was probably in short pants. <laughs> you know, neither he nor we dreamt that he would one day uh, end up restoring this film, he and his team, who I must congratulate most warmly, the, the Film Heritage India Foundation. To, for not only restoring this film, and making it available to the younger generation. But also, as Sham himself said, it's looking more beautiful than the original print. And I'm sure that the film now has the, the, the luminosity and the visual beauty that Govind and Sham wanted in the first place. And all you freeloaders, be sure to buy a ticket and see the film again. Abaji, tell us, how do you feel today? I mean, uh, you were part of the film and uh, we haven't got a chance to see you so often on screen. Uh, tell us about your, your experience on this. Manthan ka experience was very big. It was one of the second films. And in the unit unit, it was like a house like a house and I got to learn something from there. My role was small, but then I got to one month Pura village stay मैंने enjoy किया and हर किसी से bonding बहुत बढ़िया थी मेरी इतने time वो time बाद मैं वापस ही film देखूँगी ये मेरे लिए भी बहुत ज़्यादा खुशी की बात शमा जी uh, you were the art director but you also wrote dialogues in the film you contributed and you worked a lot with Mr. Benegal well what happened also did the costumes yes I mean well. everything all purposely <laughs> I I was a yes I was a dog's body on this film you see. And uh, I was also uh, Prahlad's escort in the morning because he refused to use the loo, you know. <laughs> so I had to walk with him into the fields. And uh, he got caught by a lot of women who were going to collect water in the well. So then we put that scene in the film also. And as Sham said, Mr. Korean wanted a, uh, another one to be made, but he wanted that to be a failure. It's quite surprising, but he said, I want to show that and it was in, he wanted to be shot in the Nilgiris because it happened to him the first time he tried to form a cooperative in the Nilgiris, he didn't succeed. But it was from that that he learned how to proceed and, and succeed. So, but we didn't make that film finally. Well, that's, you got to keep it short. <laughs> well, it's going to be difficult. Uh, I was technically called slave number three. And I was more dog's body than Shama. And because he refused to travel one and a half hours from Rajkot to the location on, a, on the worst road that I've ever been in my life, that I said, no, I'm going to live in the village. Not realizing that my other two slaves, slave number two, Mandeep, and slave number uh, four, uh, Ravi Upur, decided to stay with me in the village. And we realized there was no attached loo. So we had to hide with the lota in the middle, uh, uh, at the crack of dawn, into the khet and to find a little spot. But Sham said, you guys want to stay in the village? So we said, yes, we don't want to come uh, one and a half hours, get up one and a half hours early and, and trudge it to the location in, uh, in that ramshackle part of us. So he said, good, you will run the kitchen. So uh, but there was no catering service in San Nerva because it was a little village in the middle of nowhere. So we had to get the entire kitchen set up from Bombay, taken to Sanganwa, four meals a day, and nobody said a chung. Aaj, mujhe nahi malum to 48 years ho gaye. Aaj, abhi jab ye diya gaya parchi to dekha. 48 years. Main mujhe agar is film ke baare mein badana pada, thoda sa main ke mujhe ek din pehle tak nahi malum tha ki main kaun sa role kar raha hu. I was prepared for any other role in the cinema. I was given a lecture every day. And I was given a drink of water. I was prepared for this. So, I was prepared for this. So, I was prepared for this. I was prepared for this. What do I do? I was prepared for this. I was prepared for this. So, I was 
तो फिर मैं बताता हूँ क्या होता है क्या हो क्या क्या <laughs> तो फर्स्ट शॉट भी मेरे मुझ पर ही लिया गया पगड़ी बांधते हुए मुझे याद है तो इसलिए ये फिल्म मेरे लिए बड़ी अजीब है और फिर उसके बाद वो फिल्म बनी ये हुआ और उसको कैरेक्टर ना भी ये याद रह गया ज़्यादा <laughs> ये एपिसोड मैंने कहीं बताया नहीं शायद इसलिए मैंने कहा जरूरी समझा आज बता दूँ It's a, it's it's quite extraordinary that uh, that so many of the great actors have all started their career with you. Uh, Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, Kulbushan Karbanda ji, Amrish Puri, Smita Patel, Shabana Azmi, Girish Girish Karnal. I think also all of them have all of them have started. Om oh, Om oh, everybody. I mean, it's tremendous that uh, that it's it's just the list is just endless. Thank you very much for all these great actors. You know, I I want to end. Before we begin the film, I mean, uh, Preeti ji, how can it not uh, be you? Because you are the soul of the film, I would say, isn't it? Uh, I want to, I want to ask you because Niti ji is there. Uh, how did she end up writing the lyrics of the film? <laughs> And tell us about how you went on to record the song on this film. Yeah, I still remember we were uh, sitting at Vanraj Patia ji's uh, place and. Uh, Shyam Uncle was there. He was reading the lyrics of the song, and it was in Gujarati, written by a very big uh, lyric writer of Gujarat. And he kept on reading, and he kept on frowning at the lyrics. So I was wondering what's happening. <laughs> and so uh, he said, "This is not what I want. This is Gujarati song. I don't want my film is not like this." So my sister Neeti was sitting there, and. Uh, when raj uncle was trying to make the tune and we were all confused as what is going to happen now what do we do so she she started writing and she said sham uncle can i can i write and kid is this okay she just wrote it like a dummy words so that the tune could be at least made when sham uncle saw the uh, lyrics he said this is what i want niti this is exactly what how i want how old were you 18 years old only <laughs> my god and what a song so now you got to we got to end with you singing a few lines yes. before we see the film okay meru gaam ka tha pare ja do te ki nadiya bahe ja koyal to ko gai nare ghar angna na podo na o mare ghar angna na podo na मैं तो देखो तारी बाट दिन बीते नहीं रात कौन कहो दिल नी बात मैं तो थकी रे ना मैं गया तो बाजाऊ ना मैं पानी भर बाजाऊ ना मैं सुख चैन पाऊ मारे घर रंग ना ना वो डोना फरिया वो मारे गो परदेसिया ओ परदेसिया ओ परदेसिया